In this quick start guide, we will overview the steps to get started with the ACC ES8 port appliance. The ACC ES8 port appliance is the all-in-one solution for network video recording. The recorder features a network switch to connect and power IP cameras, a built-in server to run the ACC server software, and local video content storage that can be accessed remotely. The factory default settings allow you to use the appliance immediately after installation, but if you have special requirements, you can use the ACC software or the web interface to customize your settings. Shown here is the reset button. Highlighted here are the status LEDs. On the back of the appliance, the corporate network uplink port accepts an ethernet connection to the general network to allow users to access the web interface and connected camera video. Here, the camera network uplink port accepts an ethernet connection to the cameras connected to the PoE switch component. The same component can be used to link to other PoE switches and cameras. Highlighted here is the power over ethernet switch component. Connect cameras to the PoE switch component to power the cameras and record video. Highlighted here is the power connector. The I.O. connector provides connections to external input-output devices. See the user guide for more information. On the underside of the appliance, note the serial number. The serial number will be required to locate the appliance in the ACC software. First, connect the cameras to the PoE ports. We will connect a couple of cameras to the appliance. Connect an Ethernet cable directly from a DHCP-enabled port on your configuring laptop to the camera network port on the appliance. Next, connect the corporate network port on the appliance to the local network with an Ethernet cable. Connect power and wait for the appliance to start up. Secure the power supply with the provided screwdriver. The status LED turns green to indicate the appliance is turned on. Launch the ACC client software. Locate the appliance and log in. Next, we will connect a couple of cameras to the appliance. Next, we will look at the web interface launch page. Click here. Then click here. Click here. Then click here. When prompted by the web interface, enter a new password for the administrator username. The web interface launch page consists of a dashboard navigation bar and a set of panes displaying status information. On the server panel, you can shut down or start up all devices. Use the logs page to view service logs. The logs are typically requested by a Vigilant technical support to help resolve an issue. On the device panel, you can reboot the device and monitor the progress of the device as it reboots from the web interface launch page. On the network panel, you can change network connections of the appliance. There are two supported network connections, one for a corporate and one for a camera network. On the PoE page, you can see how much power is available to and being used by connected devices. The default setting for all ports is auto. 
This setting automatically detects and budgets the amount of power required by the device connected to the port. For each port, you can adjust this setting manually or turn off power output completely. If you want to adjust the power output of the ports manually, you must calculate a PoE power budget. See the user guide for more information. The budget bar indicates the total amount of power budgeted for all devices connected to the PoE ports. The consumption bar indicates the actual amount of power currently used by all the connected devices. Use the powered bar for each port to configure a PoE power budget. See the user guide for more information. That completes the steps to get you started with the ACC Edge Solution 8-Port Appliance.